Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do wax resist. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to draw a picture with crayons. And it's very important that when you are coloring that you are pushing down very hard with your crayon. Now, a method I'm gonna show you in this video is a way that if you are like me and you have some white spots, like you didn't color in everywhere in the lines, I'm gonna show you how wax resist can actually make it look um, even better without having to spend that time carefully coloring in every single white spot. But you do wanna push down really hard because the harder you push, the better um, effect, the more that it will be able to resist the watery paints. So after you do your drawing, you will need um, a bucket of water with some paint and with some paint brushes in it, and you will need some watercolors. Any kind of watercolors work. So what I like to do to help improve my drawings when I leave white spaces like this is I like to match the colors. So I'm going to put red on top of my red flowers. So what it's doing is it is only coloring the spots that are white. So you can actually just go right ahead. You don't have to delicately paint each corner. You can just kind of quickly spread that color around. And I'm gonna do that to all of the red flowers. What I really like about it is the crayon gives it one texture, kind of a grainy, waxy texture, and then the paint adds some smoothness to it. But anywhere, especially where your black line is, is still going to look as awesome as it did when you drew it. Okay, so we have two more flowers. Now you can always stop painting and go and re-add some crayon if you notice that your paint is going on top of your crayon. The other thing that could be happening is that you haven't watered down your watercolor. It shouldn't be sticky and it shouldn't um, overpower the crayon. It should be kind of like um, smooth watery water like a colored water. All right, so then there is the flowers. Now I'm gonna go in and do the, um, the petals. Now when you're first wetting a color, it may take a bit more water, so check for that. So I'm gonna color the dark halves first. There's one, there's a second. There we go. I'll go down there. There's that one. And that one. If you are like me and you have more crayon colors than you do paints, like for instance in my leaves, I had a lime green crayon but you don't have a lime green paint. Feel free to mix. So what I'm gonna do first is put my lighter color down so I don't get it super dirty. So I'm gonna take yellow and I'm going to cover all of these spots first with some yellow. Now I'm not worrying about filling in all my white spots because I'm gonna go back in again with green. So I really don't wanna just have too much color down there because then it's gonna get messy. There we go. All right. So then you can go back in, get some of your mixing color. For this time I'm gonna do green and I am going to go in and mix those out. Now, if you are mixing like I am, you can accidentally have too much color. Like you'll notice over there, I have too much paint. So I'm gonna use it first to kind of dip into 
as a palette and to use it as my mixing color. But then something that is always handy when you are using watercolors is to have a paper towel. Because what you can do with the paper towel is you can just kind of put it on top, dab it out, and lift it, and it just takes away all of that extra paint. So then down here, do that again, and it just lifts what you don't want. The last thing that you have to be careful of when you are painting with watercolors is if I was to put colors on top of this, it would start to mix. So when I'm painting my background, while none of the crayon is going to go off, like what, for example, I can paint right over this black mark crayon section and the crayon line is not going to go anywhere. But if I mixed it in here with the red paint, it would um, mix a little bit. Wherever there's paint will mix. But you can still, because you have a lot of wax crayon down there, paint pretty quickly around the edges. Remember, all of that was just filling in spots. The most of it is crayon. So you can work quickly, but just be mindful of that. And go all around. And you can paint whatever colors that you would like. I'm going to choose this purple for my background. Now, if you notice it's getting too dark and it won't spread easy, add some water. should glide, it shouldn't be too tricky. Also shouldn't take you super, super long. You should just glide it along. If you were like me and you made a section too dark and you want to blend it, you can just put some water and you can just spread it around until it looks more like the colors around it. And if you accidentally get some into the leaf, like you don't want it in there, take out that towel and you can just dab it right out. And so that is your final look. And it, I really think the crayon is what really lifts the image. It really gives it some pop and some life. I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you in the next one.